sure it looks like some of the projects that NYSER to talk, you know, is offering. But what we're finding is that we're training the energy auditors, but the consumers, the homeowners, are, are not really coming up with the businesses. And we believe that there's probably there's some fear, people just don't want to spend the money, they don't have the money. So what the county is looking to do with that $200 million is to provide rebates to homeowners. If they would call up anyone of a list of contractors that we have on our website, they have to meet certain certifications. And they'll get their audit done for free. And not only that, they get the completed report to their disposal so they can go out and select any contractor that they want to do the renovations if they so choose. So I, I don't want to go through all the others because it really doesn't concern me so much because all you can talk about when I'm talking about workforce development today. And there are some other things they asked for in that plan the county did ask for. Um, I wanted to, before I leave, I like Frank touched on some of these, I just wanted to mention that the State Department of Labor has Q37 out merging and transitional worker. That's the one, not June 8th, but July 8th. I was hoping I would make an error, but you see how perfect I am? I'm making an error. <laughs> July 8th, not June 8th. Um, they also have, and for those of you here, how many people here own a business? Hire anybody at all? But if you do, I'm encouraging you to go take a look at this Q38 because it's an old program that the state just restarted again where business can apply for up to $50,000 to train their, their workers. We know income requirements at all. We're doing a workshop on, uh, in my office. You just said, say that again? You just said something about income requirements? No income requirements oh, for workers. Okay. Right. Usually, just about every federal, every state have an income, but this all one right. does not have an income test. Uh, in my office on um, July 7th, next Tuesday, I'm actually giving a technical assistance workshop to business, and I invite you. You're, you're in the county. If you wanted to participate, come up to my office, 10 o'clock on June 7th. I'm going to spend an hour or two hours helping you to fill out the application. I hope you don't mind. And um, Frank talked about these earlier, and I'm going to go over them again. The USDOL just put out five different solicitations of green jobs. And both are boards Yonkers Workforce Board and the Westchester Platinum Workforce Investment Board. Invite businesses to come in and talk to us about your needs. And if we can't meet them, We'll help you, we'll direct you to other resources such as the ones I mentioned today. And I put up Charlie. Charlie Bruno is the director of the workforce board in the We work very closely on a number of projects. I think I'm speaking for him when I come here and speak uh, on these issues. And so our contact information is there. And um, I have the first 20 people who come up and get a copy of my presentation. <laughs> and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. Thank you, Donovan.